Hey guys, it's Dakota, aka XO Yu Gi Oh! Hope you guys are doing alright. Uh, it's been a while since I've, you know, have made you guys a video. It's been a long time. I've just been, been in, still into Yu Gi Oh! and stuff like that. Just, I really haven't been, you know, really as motivated, you know, to make videos. I felt like the videos I wanted to make was already being, were already being made and made better than what I could do. So, I mean, I just didn't really necessarily, you know, see a point in making videos, but I had recently had bought this mat. I bought the the one on the right, the black necro uh, maticon spellground mat, and uh, I felt like you know I you know I looked up on YouTube, no one had made the video, so I was like, hey, I'll make a video on these. Uh, the one on the left here, the you know the the I guess it'd be the the greenish greenish mat with the blue ink. That's my friend Mikey's mat, and uh, I'd like to do a shout out for him to tell him I appreciate him. Let me borrow this for this uh, video review. I'm glad I got two mats on here to show you guys exactly what I want to show you um, with these two mats. Let me uh, let me get into focus there for a second. All right, so um, first and foremost, I'd like to say that I think that Spellgrounds are, you know, for the past 20, 20 plus years or whatever, that they've they've really have have done a killer job in, you know, making making mats you know i think that they've they've made the best mats they've made you know really durable mats mats that'll stand the test of time but this new this new v4 fabric that they have with these is soft but dear lord i'm telling you that these mats without a doubt are the roughest looking slash most unprofessional mats that i've seen before like, to me, I don't, I mean, the design on these, let me show you, okay? I want to get out the, let's do the blue one first. The, the greenish, uh, blue, blue ink one. Alright. Let's get this mount out, and I want to, you know, let's do some simple stuff on it. Real quick. Alright. Now, I like to note that, you know, well, I mean, you know, most people, depending on how you're playing your play, going to play it like, like this. Let's get it into focus. Okay. See, okay. First off, I'd like to say that the ink on this mat is amazing. The ink on both mats, they're they're great. The design on them are great, you know. Uh, it's Cthulhu themed HP Lovecraft. You know, I really I saw it and you know I I love anything that's horror themed you know and i own a halloween mat but i wanted to own a mat that wasn't you know halloween themed and i just wanted to show i mean look at the details on the map the mat is great i mean the ink's great the 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 texture of it is is super crazy soft it feels i mean it's like a chamois cloth it's like a really nice for your car chamois cloth see that but the thing that gets me okay at these mats look at this Look at this fraying. Like, look at this. This is what my friend Mikey's mat. Apparently, I had sent a message to uh, Calsa Brain Brain Games, and you know they were saying that you know this fabric has just the best feel, but whenever it's put to heat to set the ink, it will shrink, and then you have these tiny slivers all over your all over your mat. Look at that. I. I don't know about you guys, but for me, I'm a little, I was a little pissed off when I heard, you know, I was like, getting mats that are, I mean, look at that. Look how, how frayed and unprofessional that looks. Obviously, you know, it's one of those things, I sent them a message and they said, oh, well, it shouldn't fray, you know, this and that, that, you know, that's just how the fabric does and, you know, this is just the direction that they're going and I think it's shit. In all honesty, I mean, I've never felt um, a a gym mat, and I can't think of the name. What is it? Odison? Odison? I can't remember the other mat. Uh, but those mats come out clean cut, good looking. And these mats, I mean, look at how chewed up that looks. How frayed it looks. Let's let's see people going to the full. <laughs> on the full review of stuff you just want to see the paper it comes with i paid it was like 48 bucks for it which is really i mean not that bad for a mat that i mean it's gonna last for as long as you play the game but i mean look at that your mat is made of the highest quality fabrics and inks you know 
I don't know if it is or not. That, like, Jesus Christ, if you have fabric that shrinks whenever you heat it up, that's not the highest quality fabric. That's not, and what's crazy is that on my mat, this black mat, let me get it out real quick, get it to the side. It shows up like, like, mad crazy. Like, look at that. Th it really pissed me off. I was so looking forward to this mat. And look how, like, detailed and good looking that, that looks. I mean, the fire looks good. I mean, the, the zombie holding up the book. I mean, it's got little, look at that. It's got little tiny, let me zoom on. It'll zoom. Anyway, it's got a little tiny Cthulhu in, in the spell book or whatever. It's got, you know, tentacles. It's got these nice bubbles and flame across the middle. I mean, it's super soft. It's softer than the V3. It definitely is. Like the V3, I, to be honest, I like the V3 mats better. But these are obviously, these are softer. But look how jagged that looks. I may be nitpicking and stuff, but, I mean, dear Lord, I'm paying $40 for this mat that, I mean, supposed to be brand new, and it comes out looking a few years, like, aged. Like, it's been used for a few years. I don't understand it. I really don't get it. I mean, I love this. I love Spellgrounds. I think they're beautiful. Whenever I first heard about Spellgrounds and saw someone play on one, I wanted to get a mat, you know, as soon as possible. And they've, I mean, they've become a little bit more better with, with I shouldn't say more better, but they've become better with, you know, I think with the market, you know, they've done better with making sure that every, you know, that there's, I mean, they, they make more, they've been making more as compared to what they used to. It seemed like they would sell out within the first, you know, little bit, but now, I mean, this mat is now sold out, but it took it a while to sell out, it took it a good month or so. And this mat is awesome. Love this mat. Look at these mats awesome but freight is fucking shit like what the fuck like if you bought a new car right and let's say that you bought a new car and it had rust on it day one you know had rust on it as soon as you got it you'd be a little mad too like it looks chewed up it looks used as fuck it looks I mean, these, it's really good mat. I feel like it will be durable, and I don't think the stitching, it's not going to, the stitching's not going to come out anymore. If it starts doing that kind of stuff, I'll definitely make an update video. But look at that, like, I don't know if you can see that right there. That long piece of string hanging off. I mean, obviously, you get a pair of little scissors and snip it off, but why do I want to buy a mat that as soon as I get it, it already needs, it already needs maintenance and care? I really don't understand that. I really don't understand why they made it, these mats, like that they need to choose a new fabric in my opinion love these mats i mean out of 10 i'd probably give it a, give it a six or a seven you know because i, I want to show you guys this real quick um where's that little i play Yu Gi Oh, right and there's you know and obviously any game that you're playing you're going to have a lot of you know shuffling and and scooting your cards across the you know the mats and stuff and that i mean it slides perfect across the, the inks. Like, nothing catches on the inks or anything like that. Smooth surface. I mean, it just... I mean, just perfect, perfect, perfect sliding. You know, sliding cards with you and your opponent, just whatever. But it just looks used. I mean, I have... Also, I bought this mat, right? This mat I bought just because, you know, I just... I thought it was cool. I thought it might be flexible or whatever one day. I can also do a little review on this as well. But this is the the Orion Spellground mat in pink, and I think they said lilac or something. And this mat, this mat I love to death. It's only a half mat, unfortunately. It'd be awesome if it was a double mat, like two of these put together. But this one, I mean, the details on it are perfect. But look at that edge. Look at that edge, crisp. I mean, you have one little piece. I mean, I'm going along the whole length of the mat. I mean, and there's hardly nothing. It's the V3 fabric. And I think, I'm going to be honest, this, on some sections, I think this one's more, it's more, let me see if I can get in there real quick. Zoom in. 
but this one has more like grip to it. The V3 had more has more grip to it, like more textured, more in-depth grip to it. This is like smooth. This really is just smooth fabric. Just smooth, not really any texture or grip to it. But this has a little like divots. Like little I see see how it folds and bends right there, had the little creases and whatnot. And I really I really like that mat. This mat, I mean, I'm telling you, if I go to a regional or whatever, go lots of regionals and if you don't have enough room and whatnot, I definitely, I think, will bring this mat because it'll be, you know, it'll be unique. No one will, I don't think anyone will have it at least. And if they do, it'll be far and few between. But it's just that, I just think it just feels so, so nice. And this one, I mean, the sliding, the slide's all right. This one, this one's definitely better when it comes to sliding the, the, uh, the new V4 fabric. But I, that might just be the ink. They may have just improved the ink a little bit. You know, you can't really blame the fabric for that. But, um, I'm telling you, I was, I was, I don't know, was fairly disappointed with, with this mat, the Necromaticon mat. Just, it might just be the V4 fabric in general. I mean, there's a lot of people with the uproars that were talking about, you know, these mats just fraying like crazy. And, I mean, the proof is right here. I mean, the proof is, I mean, that's just... Like I said, it's just your opinion. I mean, if you feel like taking scissors to it or whatever, that's fine. And like I was saying, it just, it feels like I bought a new car. And when I bought a new car, it had rust already on it. Like, let's just say that the rust doesn't necessarily mess with the integrity of the car or the longevity of the car. But still, you got rust on your car. You have maintenance. You got to scrub it or buff it out or whatever. And that's just what I feel like with these, these V4 mats is that... Why, why the hell did I buy a mat that I have to take little snippets off it with a pair of scissors when that's your, your damn job? That's not my job. I paid, I paid good money, 40 bucks for a mat, to come out like this. Come out perfect, clean, perfectly cut, no strings or anything. If anything, I mean, this mat, um, it's fine. There's little pieces here and there. And that mat was made a year ago. And this one is 2017, you know. Let me show on the side here. 2017, Cost of Brain Games, Spellground, Necromaticon. 2017, it was made with past month or two, and it looks like that already. I have a... Let me see if I can get it real quick. I got this uh, hollow ground mat that I got cheap off a guy at my locals and you know he he was really rough with it and I want to say that I mean I haven't been super rough with it but it's the the hollow ground mat and this one is the the v3 fabric if I'm not mistaken as well but this one very minimal very very minimal that's this is two years old two years I'm taking I'm telling you I've taken to regionals and to take into locals, being thrown in backpacks and stuff. And this one is completely and utterly, look at that, fine. 100% fine. There's no, there's one or two strings coming out, but that's, I mean, that's normal with age and wear and tear and stuff. You know, two years of really, really, you know, using this mat. It wasn't just used during Halloween, trust me. Or that, I mean, look at that. I'm wrong. That's the 2014. Look at that. Three years old and it looks perfect. One or two strings. If that, as compared to these 2017 masks that just came out, full of strings. I don't know, guys. Well, this has been XO Yu Gi Oh! Sorry for bitching for 14, 15 minutes, but it just, I just felt like I got duped. I feel like, you know, and I don't want to return it because you can sell these things all day. You can sell these things 60, 70 bucks all day. I'm not going to return it for no 40 bucks. You know, I had to pay for postage. But like I said, just, we're, you know, words to the wise is trying to warn you guys. And I want to see if I can create more, a little bit more Yu-Gi-Oh content and a little bit, you know, faster rate. I've just been, just been real busy with work, busy with moving, et cetera, et cetera, you know, life stuff. Well, I'd like to say uh, thanks to you guys for watching my video, you know, uh, thumbs it up, leave a comment if you want to, but you don't have to subscribe. I'm not asking for that. You just, you know, if I subscribe, you'll get a video once a year, right? Well, I'd like to say thank you guys, and that's been all my time. All right, XO Yu-Gi-Oh, out.